Hey friends, ever wondered how one thought of inventing a machine that could see through the body? <laughs> oh, I'm talking about the X-ray machine. What an amazing invention, right? Do you know the funny story behind it? Zoom in! The invention of the X-ray was accidental. Scientists in the 1800s were busy conducting experiments on the cathode ray tube. Tough word, eh? But its function was quite simple actually. These are light-emitting tubes that were earlier used in computers and TVs. These tubes were quite unique. But no one could imagine that it would lead to such an amazing invention. Back in 1895, it was yet another day at the lab for Willem Conrad Rongjin and his fellow workers. While experimenting with glass cathode ray tubes, Willem discovered that a piece of barium platinum cyanide glowed even though the tube was encased in a thick black cardboard. Hmm, his curiosity led him to find out the reason behind this strange phenomenon. After studies and experimentation, he came to a conclusion that some kind of radiation must be traveling in the space to make it happen. So, he named it X-rays, taking X as an assumption for the unknown. Little did he know that he had changed the future completely. To test his newfound invention, Willem asked his wife for help. He captured images of the bones in her hand and her wedding ring, which became the first ever X-ray photo. He discovered that when emitted in complete darkness, X-rays pass through objects of varying density, leaving the flesh and muscle of his wife's hand mostly transparent. The denser bones and the ring left behind a shadowed outline on a special photographic plate covered in barium platino cyanide. The machine that he used for the experiment as the first wrong genogram. Willem's discovery garnered huge praise and attention in the field of science. His discovery became an instant favorite because no one had to cut through skin to examine broken bones anymore. Imagine the pain he saved us from. <laughs> He gave his first public lecture on X-rays in January 1896 and showed the ray's ability to photograph the bones without the flesh. His theory spread like wildfire in the entire world. In Canada, an X-ray was used to locate the exact place of a bullet in a patient's leg. Willem was awarded many a times, but he was the first to be awarded a Nobel Prize for Physics in 1901. Willem was also a very humble and a moralistic human being. He didn't patent his discovery because he felt that it would stop scientific advances. Not just this, he also believed that science should not be for profit. You see kids, Life of doctors became very easy after this invention. Well, not only doctors, it made life easier for many people. This brings us to... Trivia time! X-rays helped art historians to examine paintings. They could now see under paintings. That are rough sketches painters once used to guide their work among other secrets. Seeing these underpaintings helped art historians gain a better understanding of the way artists once worked. It also helped them examine rare pieces of history like the Egyptian mummies and fossils of ancient animals. Not just history of broken bones, X-rays are also used to treat deadly diseases like cancer and tuberculosis. So kids, don't
don't sweat going to the doctor anymore if you hurt yourself while playing. I'll be back soon with an exciting story. This is me zooming out. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you.